Hello, I'm Angelina Jaspers and I'm a Flex Marketing Pro. Welcome to this week's Marketing Flex. Each week I cover a real-life marketing challenge, provide a framework to break it down, and how-to steps to master it. This week we look at building a strategic marketing capability. Marketing teams come in a wide range of flavors. Some are tactical, others strategic. Some are product focused, others customer focused. Some lead with creative, others with research. Some are totally absorbed in what I call little m marketing. Others are engaged in strategic big m marketing. Moving from little m to big m marketing is as much a mindset as it is an organizational capability. It's about stepping up and stretching your team to become a strategic business partner, regardless of your mandate. And that's an important point. It's not about mandate, it's about leadership. Here are three ways to advance your team's value. One, build responsibility. This isn't about taking on more work or saying yes to every request. It's about thinking of your work and your value add in a different light. Two, operate on two levels. In addition to what needs to get done, ask, what are we trying to achieve? And explore other ways you might accomplish the same objectives. And three, extend your reach. Look for ways for your marketing to be an ongoing dialogue with your customers and partners, not just a burst of campaigns. Let's look at each of these. Building responsibility is very much an attitude and a mindset. It's about viewing yourself and portraying your department as an investment versus a cost center. It's about taking the longer term view versus the campaign and tactical view. It's about communicating your team's success based on the market impact you've made, not just on the sheer volume and timeliness of the deliverables you've produced. The best marketing teams operate on two levels, the what and the why. Some teams are fully consumed with the what, the next strike, the next announcement, the next campaign, the next event. Brilliant execution is critical to establishing marketing credibility, but do carve out some time to also ask why. The why question will lead you to a deeper understanding of the relationships that need to be cultivated, the influencers that need to be influenced, the stories that need to be crafted, the wins that need to be communicated, the perceptions that need to be changed. It is in the why where big M marketing happens. Lastly, extend the reach of your marketing campaign so they are an ongoing, continuous dialogue with your customers. Think of it as three distinct parts, condition, announce, sustain. If you have a planned strike or event, start conditioning your audience 12 or more months prior. This is especially critical if you are breaking into a new market, targeting a new customer segment, or introducing a new product in a new category. Conditioning your audience in advance will make your announcement dramatically more successful. Developing opinion pieces, points of view, reaching out to industry influencers, proactive speaking opportunities are all good tools for conditioning. The announcement phase is quite short. Typically, it is a specific date or defined window. The goal is to build broad-based awareness for your strike or event and start filling the sales pipeline. The sustaining phase of the relationship is where you nurture your leads, gain credibility, and build sales momentum. Customer success stories, wins, milestones reached, product reviews, all help keep the drum beat going and cash register ringing across the product's life cycle. Follow these frameworks and get strategic with your marketing. You'll find it a lot more fun, challenging, and rewarding for your team, your internal clients, as well as your customers. If you found this week's Flex useful, feel free to share with others, provide comments or suggest additional topics, and most important, apply it to your work today. I also invite you to join me. You can receive the Marketing Flex in your inbox on a weekly basis by signing up on my website. See you next week.